Hello friends and welcome to this uh, problem solving session and uh, we are taking up today the question of the day and the question was this. The diagram below shows a fenced triangular enclosure in the middle of a large grassy field. The points A and C. So you can see there is a point A and there is a point C here are 3 meter apart. So this distance is 3 meter and uh, a cow G here is the cow is tied by a 5 meter long rope at point A on the outside edge of the enclosure. So this enclosure is uh, you know so there is a there must be a boundary something like that and there is another boundary here. So this is a triangular enclosure. Enclosure means something some space which is closed uh, or bounded by some boundaries okay now the area of field that can be reached by the cow is 44 meters square so that's given you have to find out the value of this angle theta how much is this angle theta that is this cone this angle which is getting formed here so you have to form or find that angle out now let's try and solve this very easy problem it's a simple uh, uh, area related problem so uh, the concept would be uh, how much uh, area would be covered by the cow in the sense cow is tied with the rope ag which has a fixed length so obviously it cannot breach the circular periphery isn't it so if you can see i have drawn a simple diagram now a is the center and ag will be 5 meter clearly why because uh, the rope length is 5 so it is tied with a 5 meter rope so obviously if you see this side is the enclosure this is extending this side also this is extending this side also like that so uh, the area which I'm going to shade now is what the cow will be able to reach, isn't it? Just tell me. This is the same semicircle, first of all. So this entire semicircle, the cow will be able to cover because it will not be able to breach the radial limit, that is five meters. So till five meter, it will be able to, you know, cover everything. But it will not be able to come here because there is a boundary. This is the boundary, so it will not come here. And uh, then after it hits the point C, that is this point here, then what will happen? Uh, this, then there will be a new center now. So the center shifts to this. Why? Because now if the cow wants to move in this part of the side of the field, then from what will happen is this will be the radius 2 meter, 5 minus 3, correct? So you can see this is 3 meter and this total was 5. So this will be 2 meter. Now, if the cow wants to move, then it will be sweeping a uh, area with radius 2 only. I hope that is clear because that's how it will, it will be sweeping this area now with 2 meter. It will not be able to go beyond that because the enclosure AC, this AC is, will, you know, obstruct its movement. So, I hope this is clear. So, now what I'll do is I'll declutter the entire diagram so that, you know, uh, we are able to... Uh, Wait a minute, so I'll just remove these lines. Okay, so some bit of it, yeah. And this also, this I, I don't require all of this. So the diagram is self-explanatory now. So now let us find out the area. So area is anyways given. What is that? 44, right? So what is 44? Let me also clear this mess here. Okay, yes. And let me do again. So this is three, no problem. Now, now let us try to find out the area. So, do you not think that area, total area, when which area I mean, I mean, I mean area swept by the cow will be area of area of semicircle and uh, semicircle with radius r. So, I'm writing like that with five, right? So, this is semicircle one. So, I'm calling this one as well, one plus area of sector, area of sector which sector so this sector friends is it let me call it two two so area of sector two okay so let's find out each one of them one by one and then try to find out the area or the angle value okay now area of semicircle is very easy so area of semicircle so one i will write is equal to pi into radius square that is five square right divided by two why divide by 2? Because area full circle is pi r square. So, pi r square by 2 will be the semi circle. Correct. And this is in meter square. So, let this calculation be like that only. Right. 
so you can also say 25 upon 2 pi fair enough meter square now let us try to find out 2 so let me redraw the sector once again so if you see this is somewhat resembling our sector there and this if this is theta this one is theta then clearly this one is pi minus theta pi is 180 degrees so pi minus theta okay so pi is 180 degrees so pi minus theta fair enough now what is the area of the sector so area of sector is if you recall the formula it is nothing but theta in radians or other in this case i will write angle because theta is something else here so angle of sector angle of sector divided by 2 pi now angle of sector has to be in radian guys if you are taking 2 pi otherwise you have to take in degrees both numerator and denominator so i am taking in radians angle of sector divided by 2 pi into uh, d pi into r square full circle area now circle of and in this circle what is the radius this is the small r okay so hence now let's calculate so pi minus theta upon 2 pi into pi r square so pi into 4 right 2 square is 4 so 4 meter square so clearly you can see pi and pi will disappear this 2 and this will go correct so now uh, i i hope you're clear that this is 2 right 5 minus 3 that is right 2 so fair enough so what is the uh, area final so final area is pi minus theta into 2 so 2 pi minus theta meter square okay now total area is given total area is equal to 1 plus 2 is equal to 44 meter square correct so now let's deploy the values and uh, find the answer so let's try to calculate now so this implies uh, 25 upon pi 2 sorry 25 upon 2 pi plus 2 into pi minus theta is giving you 44 right multiply both sides by 2 so you will get 25 pi 25 pi plus 4 pi minus theta is equal to 88. I multiplied this entire equation by 2. Right. So that I get rid of this 2. Now if you simplify this is nothing but 29 pi. Right. 29 pi minus 4 theta is equal to 88. Okay. So what is theta? Theta will be equal to 29 pi minus 88 upon 4 right let's try to calculate this this is 29 into 22 upon 7 minus 88 upon 4 so somewhat so i'm taking approximately 22 by 7 though you could have taken 3.14 as well so no problem so now so 29 you can take 22 common if you see this is 20, 22 common and you will get 29 by 29 by uh, 28 7 into 4 minus 4 by 4 so i hope you are getting the calculation so there was this 4 also so i have so there was this 4 also so i have included that within the right so, so this is 22 into 29 by 28 will be 1 point mm, 0 correct point zero three. so point zero three, and then 5 yeah that's it and minus 1 so I'll take only 3 digits so this is 22 into 0 point zero three five. that means uh, this will be how much so 35 35 into 22 correct that will be around 0 0.77 radians okay so this should be the answer 0 0.77 radians so this is how you have to solve this you can convert it into degrees also but that's not required here so angle is 0 0.77 radians right 
so i hope you understood this solution so let me zoom out and show you in one frame this is what is the solution